Prime Minister and the government of Haiti requested Kenya to lead a police mission to help stabilize and bring order to their country. Haiti looked around and said, Kenya, please help us. Then it asked many other countries, they came to Kenya. They said, Kenya, you have a history of helping other nations. Kenya, you are very good at doing it. Kenya, you are brothers and sisters. Kenya, we are dying here. We are suffering. Tumefika Mwisho, please help us. So we got a request from our people of Haiti. And as good Christians and good Muslims and good religious people, we could not turn and look the other way when our brothers who are suffering have asked us for help. So we decided we are going to go and help Haiti to lead a multinational police mission with other countries. We were in New York and other countries are coming on board. We've got other African nations that are coming on board. We've got other nations from all the world. They are saying, if Kenya is leading it, we think there's going to be success. So they're coming on board. And uh, we are going to have a UN resolution, which will give the mandate for Kenya and other governments to be able to send their police forces to go and police and help stabilize Haiti. We'll also be training the Haiti police uh, so that they can have their numbers, so that we go, we finish our mission, we come back, we leave them with a stable country. Because they have asked for our help, we want to help them because we also care and uh, feel their pain. So I want to send a message to the people of Haiti. We assure the people of Haiti that we feel your pain. When you cry out, we feel it. When your children suffer, we feel it. Your pain is our pain. We shall stand with you at this difficult time and walk the journey towards peace together because you deserve to live a secure and prosperous life. You are our brothers and sisters. So as I've said, we're working with other others and we hope that we'll be able to, to move forward very quickly. In terms of timeline, we do expect the UN mandate any time now, within the next few weeks. Immediately after we get the mandate, there's going to be a meeting whereby different nations will come together and decide the kind of support they are going to back uh, Haiti by backing the Kenyan-led force or mission so that after that now we'll be able to deploy. We are looking at two to three months, we'll be in Haiti helping our people. If it takes long, maybe in early January, but that depends with what happens in the United Nations uh, Security Council, where the debate and the discussion is going on to pass a resolution. But we are committed. We've already started planning our logistics. We had a very good meeting this morning with the police, where they were able to tell us about their planning model the equipment that is required, the personnel that is required. So planning in our end has already started. We even started teaching uh, some of our key police officers French so they can be able to communicate with our people when they get there. Uh, so we are planning for our brothers and sisters in Haiti. We get when the whistle is blown, we'll be there to help our people. We have to stop the women from being raped. We have to stop from the children from being killed. We have to stop these thugs from taking over the streets and making our brothers and sisters suffer. We are